The first step when installing the Resine Smart Touch system is application of Smart Touch conductive coating. We call the areas coated with conductive coating the active areas. These will be overcoated later with Resine Space Coat or Lustacrol to provide the final touch surface. Maximum performance is achieved on smaller areas. Smart Touch conductive coating applies like a typical waterborne paint, however, be mindful of the limitations and plan the application before starting. Before painting the active area, ensure the area to be painted is suitable. Areas covering steel framing or firewalls, steel structural elements or reinforced concrete are typically not suitable. Metal substrates are also not suitable for painting Smart Touch conductive coating. The system will not work if it becomes electrically earthed, so ensure that no electrical fittings are installed on the coated area and that any conductive coating is positioned at least 6mm from electrical fittings. This includes screws for mounting switch plates and any metal backing which may form part of the switch plate. Any porous surfaces such as plasterboard and timber must be sealed before application of Smart Touch conductive coating. Use the sealer recommended by Resine for your substrate. During the painting process, a smart link cable should be attached to the active area. This will be hidden from view during installation, but placement of the cable must be considered prior to confirming the location of the active area. Often the cable will be mounted behind an existing switch plate, in which case use one of the supplied application templates for PDL 600 series and iconic switch plates and watch the switch plate installation video showing how to use the templates. If your switch plate is not compatible with the templates, use the recessed mounting method shown in the alternate SmartLink installation video. Where an alternate mounting location is planned, it is advisable to consult the electrical installer to ensure that the cable will be easily accessible during subsequent electrical installation. If the electrical installer will fit the cable later, make sure the cable and some paint is available. Note that any joints inside the active area must be free of cracks to maintain continuity of the conductive coating. Consider who will be using the active area and place coatings appropriately. Once a suitable area has been determined, Measure and mark out the active area making sure that the total coated area is less than 2 square meters. Where small children will be using the system, keep the active area less than 1 square meter. If stripes are being painted, keep their width at least 400 millimeters. Where the total active area is less than half a square meter, narrower stripes may be used although keep them at least 100 millimeters wide. It is possible to include external and internal corners in the active area. For best results, apply an extra layer of coating on external corners. Other shapes and designs for the active area are possible and depending on the requirements of the user, the active area can be completely invisible once top coats are applied or indicated through means of texture or colour. If multiple active areas are being painted adjacent to each other, make sure there is no overlap between the areas to maintain individual functionality. Apply Smart Touch conductive coating in the marked out area and feather the edges to avoid thick edges showing through subsequent coats. Two coats are required when using a resin number no. 1 roller sleeve and a third coat is required if using a resin number no. 4 sleeve. After allowing at least 12 hours dry time, resin advises that the performance of the active area is checked by measuring the electrical resistance with a multimeter. In resistance mode, place probes 500mm apart on the conductive coating and note the resistance result. Repeat in overlapping sections across the whole active area and include the smart link cable in at least one measurement. If using pointed probes, press the probe edge, not the point, onto the coating. All measurements should be less than 1800 ohms, 1.8 kilo ohms, for areas wider than 400mm and less than 2,500 ohms, 2.5 kilo ohms, for areas between 100 and 400 millimeters wide. Finally, finish the job with resin space coat or lustre crawl.